Hey everybody, it's Mark from Edmunds, and today we're talking about ultra premium luxury sedans. It's a very select class of cars, and in that class, it's pretty hard to beat this, the Mercedes Maybach. Prices for the Mercedes Maybach S560 start right around $175,000. This, however, is the S650 that has a six liter turbocharged V12 that puts out 621 horsepower and it starts at $200,000. That's about twice as much as you'd expect to pay for the regular S-Class, which is already impeccably executed, luxurious, and, and has everything you probably need. Is the Mercedes Maybach worth $200,000? Well, that's all really interesting, I'm sure. But the reason you buy a Maybach, I contend, is for this, the rear seats that I'm in right now, with the executive rear seat option. That eliminates the fifth seat and puts this wonderful console here. Rear entertainment screens, ventilated seats, heated seats. It's everything that you can enjoy up front, except you don't have to drive. Now, this amount of power and torque it's not going to pin you to the seat. It's more of this just push of power. The 650 is rear wheel drive only, while the 560 is 4Matic all wheel drive all the time. That really doesn't matter unless you're driving someone very wealthy in inclement weather. Obviously, you have the recline function. This folds the front seat completely out of the way and then starts pushing me horizontal. Oh, and this is nice. This is really nice. At the same time, I have control over the energizing comfort system. That combines a whole bunch of other things in this car. I'm getting a seat massage. It will change the climate control of the seat as well as the regular climate control. It'll play a specific track tailored to whether you want vitality, enjoyment, well-being, or, or even a little bit of a in-seat calisthenics. It changes the ambient lighting. It fragrances the air. Think of it as a spa for your car. I really like it back here. Part of the recent refresh for the Mercedes S-Class and Maybox, you have a new steering wheel and you have some new features, some more advanced safety features, as well as some low level automated driving systems. Underneath my left elbow here, the center console has wonderful fold out table as if you're in business first class. And this cubby here, a wonderful heated and cooled cup holder. One thing you don't get, of course, is a butler. No. To be perfectly honest, any S-Class is going to do you just fine. The Mybox, they're more about bragging rights, I suppose. Especially this, the S650 with the V12. It's completely unnecessary. The, the 560 has a ton of power. So this is more of a one-upsmanship, just in case your wealthy neighbor has an S560 Maybach. It's a weird world. The one option I wish I had, though, is the refrigerated compartment that would go right here. It's only an $1,100 option. It's a great addition, especially if you're going to be spending a lot of time back here. There's so much added to the entire experience, thanks to the magic ride control. It just senses the road in front, it adapts to bumps and ruts. It rolls right over them as if they don't even exist. Been driving long? Really? It doesn't show. As you'd expect from an S-Class and especially a Maybach, it's as quiet as a crypt in here. Very little road noise. And even if there was, this has the massive Burmester sound system to drown pretty much anything out. I'm sure that even on the Autobahn doing 140 miles an hour, it'd be just as quiet. Mm. Mm. <laughs> mm. It's a very narrow class of cars that this Maybach competes against, and they're all really good. That includes the Bentley Flying Spur, which is about the same price as this, and then you get into things like the Rolls-Royce Ghost Series 2 and Bentley Mulsanne, which start around $300,000. If you're looking at a $200,000 car, is a $300,000 car really going to break you? Probably not. It does have a panoramic sunroof above me, but it's closed right now because it's actually pretty hot, which might actually make a case for the magic sky control option. That is a dimmable sunroof. So if it's a hot day like today, but I still kind of want that airy feeling, I can hit a button and it will go opaque. It's lovely. There are also selectable drive modes as you expect from any car these days so that if I'm being chased down, he can throw it in dynamic mode and we can make a quick getaway. Of course, 
as a driver, you're not enjoying everything I have back here. It's really quite lovely. You should try it sometime. The Maybach represents more of a technological advancement over the others, which are more old world British slash German uh, luxury. With all of these systems, all the advanced safety features, as well as the automated driving, it gets that tech edge. This is obviously the preferred seat in the Maybach. My driver, well, he's making do with what he's got up front. Quite honestly, he could be just as pampered as I am back here, but I don't allow that. The Mercedes Maybach. Is it worth it? If you have the money, yes. Yes, it is. It's a good thing we have that magic ride control too, because he's hitting almost every bump there is. For more information on the Maybach, as well as its competition, head over to Edmunds.com. To see more videos like this, hit subscribe.